Hey, before this video gets started, I just want to say thank you for the support, I really do appreciate it. We're getting close to 100k subscribers, so I really do appreciate it if you do subscribe. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Ah, so you have finally come. Very well. Did you bring the things that I told you to bring me? Hmm, very good. You are looking more like an apprentice more than any. Because, well, you actually listen to me. You actually care what happens to this world. What true power can do to somebody. And fourth, I should thank you for bringing me these things that I needed. Now, my technology can foresee the future of this world and the Pokemon that roam it. You see, in my facility of some sorts, which we are in now, we're hiding something much more greater than what meets the eye. Follow me. And I didn't quite get your name. So please, tell me. What is my new apprentice's name? Well, it's nice to meet you. You see, I've been looking for a new apprentice for all so long. Not a lot of people agree with what I do with my technology. Well, all except you, of course. With my intellect and your field work, we could get things rolling a lot more quicker. Well, the thing I was talking about in my facility is something of mythical power. We have captured a new type of Pokemon. One that could give all sorts of power, but it's not awake yet. This power is something I have never felt before. Somewhat evil at that. But it's nothing my technology and my team can't handle. Team Flair will always reign supreme when it comes to its technology. Mm. What's the matter? You seemed all sorts of excited once we were on the surface. Is there something wrong? All right, then. Yes, my new Pokemon that I want to catch myself. I want this power so people can actually look at me and see that Team Flare is nothing to mess with. 
your world will no longer be what it was. Once I awaken this legend of a Pokemon, as I awaken it from its oh-so-tender slumber, me and him will rule. And Team Flare will flourish. A new age of power, technology, and even Pokemon will come into fruition. Now let's head back to the surface. We don't want to disturb our scientists here working on our plan. I want to again thank you for going out of your way to get me this technology. Now my drones can be up to date. Yes, well, my drones here are more than just a flashy show. You see, each drone I have here is connected to my glasses. And these drones scan the Pokemon that I'm fighting. And it tells me its weakness, its type ability, level, and if it has an evolution. It's like a Pokedex, but it's much more technology than it ever was put into those wretched Pokedex. My drones can see more than just what it is. From one simple scan, it could tell me if it's dying. It could tell me if it's diseased. It could tell me if it's a new typing, a new Pokemon. And the last time I scanned that creature down in the basement, my scanners couldn't pick up a thing. But now, thanks to you, my apprentice, I have everything that I need. But your job isn't done here. No, no. You're part of the team now. You are my right-hand person. Someone I can turn to. Someone I can trust. Someone I can put out into the field and bring me back the things that I need to further my technology and also further my research. I need something Something important. Yes. You see. There are these stones. Yes. Stones. That can evolve a fully evolved Pokemon already. Into something even more. With that stone I can evolve almost any Pokemon into a next form, something even more powerful than it was. These stones are called Mega Stones. I need you to fetch me some. Yes, more than one. Are you up for that challenge? Well, good. I knew I could trust you. And listen before you leave, I have something that I have to tell you. I want those mega stones. And you will get them by any means necessary.
Do I make myself clear? Good. I knew I could trust you. Now go. I have lots of things I have to do.